I saw in Deuteronomy where the Bible says, I have given you this land. This one, you know, he gave them up. He said, Now arise and fight. Now the question is, Lord, if you by prophecy are giving me, why should I fight? Look at me. The promises are authentic, but you have a technique to materialize them. That technique is that you must fight. God has given you. By the mystery of the finish, you know, we have the vital part of what Jesus did, and we have the legal part of what Jesus did. Am I talking to somebody here? The legal part is every price he paid on the cross and brought us into sonship so that we can maximize the blessings. Brother Paul said, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace that is able to give you inheritance among those. And Paul said that this inheritance is hidden in the light. So by the legality of what he has done, we are healed, we are prospering, we are working. But the, legal, the, the vitality of it is that you need to know how to engage it. To transition those promises into physical, relatable reality. And one of the techniques is, help me shout to somebody, fight. Stand to your feet. What the seven person shout, fight. I can't hear you. Say it now. Fight, fight, fight. They're the person we are fighting. We must fight, oh. We must rise. We must fight to take over. We must fight to advance. Did you hear what I said? Look at me. If you do not fight for it, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. So God has given us all blessings, his spiritual blessings. His spiritual blessings. Number one, every blessing is spiritual. Number two, is shrouded in the heavenly places. Then you need to find that walking wisdom, which is fighting, on how to bring those things into relatable oppression. Most of you keep seeing yourself build a house in the dream. Go to America in the dream. Generational impact. We are in the dream. It's not wrong to dream, dream, but don't dwell there. Don't dwell there. There remains something else to do. You know, Abuja taught me another dimension of ministry that if you are not warfare minded and maintaining purity, righteousness, Abuja can close you up. That's one of the lessons when I'm, I'm invited to teach mass pastor. I said, one of the things I'm learning in nine years that this land is very slippery. By the time you think you are relaxing, it slips out of your hand. It's not a land you come, you'll be sleeping. The night is the morning of champions. So if you come to this city and uh, you are sleeping, looking at the light, the, <laughs> as you sleep, the territory will slip out of your hands. I learned this by your spirit. I'm not telling you the story. So you need to fight. Thank God for what God has wrought for us in Christ. Thank God we are in a festive period. But find two, three days, have retreat. Go to him that has the blueprint of your destiny. Ask him what next. What next, Lord? What, what do you want me to do? The labor of the foolish man where it every one of them because they know it how. Where you know the road, you take the lead. I pray for you. May God put on you the warrior's armor. May God baptize you with a fresh fighting spirit. A fighting spirit is a spirit that will never take no as an as an I lift up my joining faith with apostles' faith and mama's faith. We speak over you. May God give you that fighting spirit that will not rest until your expectation becomes your reality. Let me hear that amen three times.